Hi, welcome to Dad's Surviving Divorce. I'm Dwayne. Uh, today I want to discuss a little bit about what happens whenever you haven't seen your ex for a while, like you're doing no contact and you're doing really well with that, and how you feel compared to whenever you're around the person. There, there's a couple of different scenarios that uh, folks are, are, are in, and I, there's a little piece of this that's really important that you need to think about. Okay, so the first part of this, what I'll say is, if you're still having to interact with your ex, uh, even just a little bit, but if you have to see them on a regular base, uh, basis uh, for, for handoff for the kids or whatnot, or you have to interact with them, that is gonna slow this entire process down because it's that constant reminder, that constant, you know, like, hey, look at me thing that really causes problems. And it, it can make you feel like you're trapped. And it's, I mean, in some ways you kind of are, but, but it makes it tough because you don't get that separation to, to be able to disentangle from the person. Now, the, the best way to deal with that is first try to try to minimize the interaction you actually have. So if you are doing something to where you have to interact, just basically minimize that time. Don't linger around, do what you need to do, and then get out. If you have to drop the kids off, drop the kids off, and then get out. The problem is, and this is what's been the situation for me for many years, is once you see the person, it's like your, your, your system starts slowing down, not slowing down, but your defenses start lowering and all the things that you've been able to, you know, put them in a, not, not in a corner, but, but basically get them out of your mind starts to, to break down. Now that's what I'm going to get to in a second in the second part of this. So if you're in that situation, look for ways to minimize communications. I highly would recommend that you do not talk to them in person. I mean, obviously if you're dropping the kids off, you have to do the hello or, or whatever, but minimize those communications do everything through email i wouldn't even do text because you don't want them to really have direct access to you and you want to have time to think about what's going on and how you're going to deal with it that's really crucial on this okay so the second part of this which is which can give you a false sense of recovery or healing or however you want to word it but that's whenever you have a no contact situation whenever you're effectively getting the person out of your mind and the the issue with that, and I want you, what I want you to think about, and I've 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 experienced this myself, and I've also seen and and heard a lot of the subscribers and viewers of this channel experience the same thing, and that is you're going no contact. You think you have it, you got it figured out. You're feeling better. You're doing better. You know, you're seeing a future. You're seeing. I mean, all the stuff, all the positives that we talked about in other videos recently. You're starting to feel. You're starting to see. And it makes you think that you have it all figured out with your ex. You know what they are, you know how they operate, you know what they're gonna do. The problem is, is we still have an emotional connection with that person. So it's easy to kind of uh, to disengage from it and think logically that, you know, oh, well, I understand this person now. They have no effect over me. The, the problem is, is that they still have, you, you still have a connection with them. And what I want you to think about or just be aware of is that when you do ultimately see them, expect that you're gonna have a little bit of a backslide. Uh, and, and I wanna mention that because it can be really devastating if you're not thinking about it and you're not aware of it and you're feeling great, you go into an interaction with your ex and they just do their little ding, 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 you know, their little, their little covert BS all the way around and wear you down even in a short amount of time and then you can walk away and you can be stuck thinking about old things that you thought you were over and they can be stuck in your head and you can basically feel like you're having a relapse. The thing is, that is absolutely normal, okay? So the first thing on that is do not think that your recovery has been a facade. Okay, it's just really important to mention that because I want you to be aware of it because if you're not, it can be, it, this whole situation can feel really devastating because you think all the progress that you've made has been a facade, that it wasn't real, that you know you can get that in your mind that's like, well, I was living that illusion before, so this must be an illusion. So, that, so my, my relationship was fake, my recovery is fake, so the only thing that must be real is the chaos and the pain and the hurt and the anger. Isn't it weird how that's, that's, I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of the way I would gravitate towards this. But the difference is, is once you start to realize what's going on and you catch yourself doing it, you can go, okay, this is part of the process. I've seen the person, I've interacted with them. They've kicked up these old, you know, these old memories and stuff. And as you, as you get better with recognizing it and telling yourself what's going on, it'll make it a lot better. Just wanted to throw that out there because 
you know, I, I can see the difference of the people who are stuck dealing with their ex. They're kind of trapped because they don't get any of that time to really start to think, you know, to start to work on themselves because it's constantly, even though it's not like an actual poke in the chest, it's like being poked all the time. And it's just, it's, it, it keeps that nerve raw. So that's the problem with folks that still have to interact with it. But equally so, you know, if you're, like I said, if you're dealing with somebody and you have, feel like you're doing better, once, they, once they're in that proximity to be able to poke on you, you can have a, 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 a relapse, but it's, you have to keep it in context. So on that, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully you're doing okay. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you haven't had a chance to go over to the Dad's Driving Divorce website and sign up for the newsletter, please run over and do that, and I will chat with you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. There's airplanes everywhere because there's a runway right over there, right over there. And the planes are noisy. I don't know why I'm singing. That's kind of weird.